I was... I was in the Chandler house, like, floating from room to room. And there were these flashes of light. And I kept saying, for Ian, I have to do this for Ian. And, and I remember I was so angry. And then I was outside. I was on the terrace looking in. And I could see Adam. And I had a gun in my hand. And I remember, I remember that feeling of hate. I could feel how much I hated him. I, I, I remember wanting to kill him. Wanting to pull the trigger, wanting him dead for my baby. And then the gun went off and there was a loud bang. It was just a dream. Okay, one you probably shouldn't be talking about. Well, I'm awake now. And Stuart is gone. And Zach's in jail, and I'm here. And Ian is alive. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Oh, he is, he is. How's Emma? She's good. She's safe. She's home with Karina. Annie turned herself in. Go be with her. Ryan, go be with your daughter right now. She's napping. I'll be there when she wakes up. I'll be there when she wakes up. Oof. I envy her. I do. Being able to sleep. I'm afraid to close my eyes. Afraid I'll dream that dream again. What are you so scared of? All of it. The look in Zach's eyes. The gunshot. And now Zach confessed. Hey, um... If there's anything else that you need to tell me, I'm here. Paging Dr. Battaglia, call extension of course. Well, actually, there is one thing I have to tell you. Um, Jake examined Ian earlier and said he's getting healthier by the minute. Oh, that's great. Mm -hmm. That's so amazing. Mm -hmm. Go be with him, okay? And give him a kiss for me. I will. Okay. I will. Mm -hmm. I need you to tell Jesse Hubbard that our conversation happened at the gates of the mansion and that it happened before Stuart was killed. You want me to lie for you? Jesse just asked me where I was when Stuart was murdered. The truth didn't work? I went for a walk. Nobody saw me. I have no alibis, no witnesses. I just... I panicked. You must suck as a lawyer. Listen, the conversation's real. I just switch the time and the place. Which is the same as lying. Colby, if you could just back me up on this one thing. Oh, God. Did you do it? Is, is that why you came back to kill Dad? But then you shot Uncle Stuart, and now you want me to cover for you? Colby, don't be ridiculous. Then tell me the truth. And spare me the walk in the park story. I was in the mansion. Yeah, I was there when Stuart was killed. I have to see my brother. You have to stay in bed. Those crazy pills made you sick. I don't give a damn about those pills. I just want to see my brother. I, so many people wanted me dead. I made them all hate me. I didn't care. I didn't care. I dared them. But I was too strong and too silent and too powerful and too untouchable. So how many times did Stuart beg me, beg me to be kind and generous, knowing, loving all things that came so easily to Stuart? 
kind of a God would let me live. And the love and murder of a man as pure and innocent as Maybe so you could have a second chance. So you could take a look at your life and make changes. Hell, maybe even try some of that love and understanding that Stuart wanted for you so badly. Maybe so. All of us not just remember, but to live by it. Maybe that was Uncle Stuart's legacy. Don't talk about my father's legacy. The wrong man is lying in the morgue. Reflexes. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Come on. I learned from the best, didn't I? You lost to the best repeatedly. Mm -hmm. First one who drops the loses, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. And then you'd make me do something ridiculous like moving the old folks home. Hey, don't knock it, man. Those women loved you. Along with that one guy from Illinois. Now that I think about it, you really loved humiliating me, didn't you? <laughs> huh? Somebody had to. You Which were just cool because I was very young and impressionable. Well, the truth is that I really respected you. You knew how to live. No doubts, no looking back, no regrets. You know what they should they, they should call that mojo in the dictionary, looking it up. That should be called mojo. Well, it doesn't matter if you scare it away. That's just as well. I get it back. I was so desperate to just talk with you, Colby, so I went into the house. You broke in? Well, it's not exactly like your father would have welcomed me, and I didn't want to see him. I just wanted to talk with you. So you broke in? I went around the terrace, but I couldn't go in the terrace because your father was in the parlor talking with JR. So I went to the back door and it was open. I went inside, I went upstairs and I saw you. You were sleeping. I only conked out for a few minutes. You didn't wake me? No, because somebody was coming. I heard them, so I left. Did you shoot my father? Could you... Don't be ridiculous. Colby, I wouldn't shoot anyone. I am not a murderer. If you're so innocent, why not just tell the cops what you told me? You don't believe me. You think the chief of police is going to believe me? Colby, I did not come here to start trouble. And I certainly didn't come here to upset you. I came here so that you and I can have a second chance. We could be a family. But... I'm going to get railroaded for murder because I don't have an alibi. I'm never going to get that opportunity to be the mother that I've... Be the mother I always wanted to be with you. Colby, honey, I have real dreams for us. You, me, and your little brother, your little sister. Be happy, you know, like we were before I messed everything up. But you need me to lie so that we can have all this happiness. I know you're angry at me, but I also know that deep down inside that you do love me. And the only reason that I'm coming to you with all of our differences is because you really are the only one that I can truly trust. Please help me. I... I love my dad. I need to see him. Please. Colby! Hey, what was that all about? I don't know what to say. 